Concerned clients ask our attorneys all the time about undue influence. Undue influence here under Texas law is when somebody puts too much pressure on someone to make their will or their trust. Now, I've chosen my words very carefully there because it's actually okay to influence someone to make a will. In fact, I'll do it right now. If you don't have a will or a trust, go get a will or trust. I mean, really, you definitely, definitely should go get a will or trust. Well, there you go. I just influenced you to make a will. Is that illegal? Well, no, because I didn't unduly influence you to make a will. In a lot of these legal cases, an undue influence argument goes like this. Mom and one daughter went to the lawyer's office together for mom to make a will. And when mom came out of that lawyer's office, mom's will gave everything just to that one daughter to the exclusion of mom's other children. And the other children go and lawyer up after mom's passed away and they say, oh, the only way mama would have made her will that way is if that bad sister of ours unduly influenced mama to make her will that way. I've got bad news for you if that's your argument because it's a loser. Most undue influence cases are not going to win. And that's because undue influence isn't just an opportunity to pressure somebody. It's not just pressure on mama to make her will a certain way. It's a really high threshold for way too much influence on mama to make her will. I'm talking like the daughter had a gun to mama's head. Now that's undue influence. Even if daughter went to an office to have a will made and she put a gun to mama's head and said, mama, if you don't sign that will giving me everything, I'm gonna pull the trigger. Well, even then, you might lose an undue influence against that bad daughter because after mom left that office, she was free to make a new will. If your argument is that she only made that will because of the gun to the head, well then, what about the time after that when she could have made a new will? I want the takeaway from this video not to be that a undue influence argument in court um, isn't worth making. You know, if you've been cut out of a will or if you think a will is very suspicious and you've lost a loved one, you should go get an attorney and that attorney might allege undue influence in the courtroom. But what I want you to have as the takeaway of this video is that undue influence isn't just influence of a person to make a will, it's undue influence of a really high order. Like mama was kinda incapacitated and daughter pressured her with like a threat or something like that. And most of the time when there's a will that was made in a lawyer's office, it's probably gonna be almost impossible to contest the validity of that will on the basis of undue influence only. So while undue influence may be a great argument to make as part of a will contest pleading, it's probably not the only legal argument that you want to make because it's a really tough legal burden to win in court.